I'm so sorry I did not for my late arrival. My brand new invitation is slots in the mail. What am I wearing? I'm wearing this beautiful vintage dress, these beautiful black heels, and yeah, I can't wait to talk about the graphics and all that stuff. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye. Je vais m'acheter des fleurs, écrire mon nom dans le sein, parler avec ma main pendant des heures. Say things you don't understand. Uh, oh. Dire des choses que tu comprends pas. Hein? Mm, 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 mm. Je peux m'amener et danser et, et je peux prendre ma propre main. <rire> oui, je peux m'aimer mieux euh, euh, que toi. Je peux m'aimer bien. Yeah. <rire> Ooh, the translation was like a bit rocky. Do you, you want to know what time it is? It's literally 1:30 p.m. and I'm fully dressed. Wait, let me put on. I'm <laughs> okay, so there, used to, there are straps that are removable, but for some reason, I can't find for the life of me the freaking straps. So let me put on a freaking sweater on so I don't expose myself. Okay, guys, this is so much better. <gasps> I feel safe. Like, I want a microphone, but I don't have anything. You know what that means? The iconic glasses are back. I'm so happy. Hey guys, hope you're well. The Grannies happened last night. So about a year ago, I came across this article about the artists that won and essentially the stats of which artists that won and the the record labels they were signed to and they provided stats and everything. And so I asked myself, huh, so maybe the Grammys are not about celebrating artists and the music, but more so uh, music Olympics between the three major record labels so Universal, Sony, and Warner Bros. I wanted to wait until the 2024 Grammys just to confirm my own stats and thank god I didn't publish the video that I did back then because first of all it was all over the place so no we need structure here and second of all because I'm also doing I'm currently doing a music law class I just realized how messed up how complicated the music industry is so this is the perfect time now that I'm like more i'm smarter i'm i think i see things clearer better we can talk about this now this is the perfect time i need to pull up my computer because that's where all the info is i ran through <laughs> chat gpt because i was not going to count everything but essentially, based on the 2024 Grammys, the major wins were Taylor Swift, Miley Cyrus, Boy Genius, SZA, and Billie Eilish. Congrats- Oh! All women! Okay, okay! Oh, we're gonna talk about Barbie and feminism later on because we need- some of y'all we need to discuss, okay? Thank you, Sony, for providing me the, the, the answer because um, Sony did come up with a post with all the 2024 Grammy winners. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, huh? And then Universal. Universal, I had to like, I don't know how I did it, but I think they've been all over the place since um, they removed their, they, they stopped the licensing for TikTok, so they have, they have other priorities. Okay, I understand that. Essentially, how I managed to do it was I went on the record label's Instagram page to see if they posted a compilation of all the wins. Sony and Warner Brothers made it a bit easy and then Universal I just <laughs> I kind of I don't know how to Hey guys so I realized that what I originally did was false and so I tried to redo it this morning which is a couple of days later and I'm still very confused. It's just there's just too many people involved and all that stuff but and I also didn't take into account independent labels, but Billboard did post a article, and I think it's way more accurate. Phoebe Bridgers did win one Grammy outside of the Boy Genius group, but from what I could gather, she is signed to an independent label. So Phoebe Bridgers did end up with the most awards, with three under the Boy Genius group, but the Boy Genius group apparently is with Universal, so Universal has three wins, and it's just really complicated. And when we look at the nominations, 
since I had the most nomination and she's with Sony. My my goal is not to ask whether or not Sony is better than Universal or if Warner is better than the it's not that it's just a cool and it's just a cool observation to look at really maybe it can serve i guess a guidance for record labels to see what kind which artists should we push more or other artists that have a similar aesthetic i want to say or a similar sound for example tyla has had an amazing year and it's really crazy to see that she managed to get a grammy before her first album being released like like what but that maybe give an insight to her record label to see oh you know what maybe we could push more african artists that have a similar sound or maybe push more r&b i don't know i i wish i could be a fly in those record labels walls but i can't it's physically impossible i'm just asking questions i'm just opening the discussion this is i don't know i don't know who won i don't know who got the best who got more Grammys, but essentially, ChatGPT also said at the last thing, it said, may not represent all artists associated with each record label at the 2024 Grammys, which essentially means that the music industry is a whole mess, okay? Although I, I can't give you a clear answer as to which record label took home the most Grammy wins, it is important to know that they play a big role in the success of the songs that we hear now. It's really complicated, and in my class, we talked about how when you hear the song, there, there's the record aspect, so the songs that we hear, but also the publishing aspect. And these two are very separate. So the best way I can explain it to you guys is that, okay, I'll just say Sony, for example. Sony music publishing is different, works differently than Sony music rec like records. Although they're on the same umbrella of Sony music, these two aspects, so the record and the publishing, work differently. So someone in... The publishing aspect could work is essentially with contracts and all that stuff could work with an artist from universal publishing and that's why it's very very complicated you have mark ranson and john anatov that are great producers although they also make music when it comes to producing and like i for example mark ranson with the being a music sub supervisor in for the barbie album which won a grammys multiple grammys actually it's difficult because he could work with Billie Eilish is with Universal, but he also did a song with Dua Lipa, which I know she is with Warner. So you see, it's very complicated. And for example, for Fred again, I came across an article saying that Fred again was is technically signed with with Warner Music, but he has an exclusive publishing deal with Universal or something like that. So that, that's what I'm saying. Quite complicated. Yeah. For example, just. Just like I'm going through the Grammys website and it says, genre, it's just there's so many people. I, I, it's just there's so many people involved in writing one song. Yeah, it's just it's quite it's yeah. <laughs> Essentially, my question of whether or not the like the Grammys is not really about celebrating music, but it's like a, a mini context within each record labels. It could be right, but. Then again, it's just so complicated. I think the best way to measure this is that if we were to look for the publishing aspect, who won the most Grammys, for the record aspect, who won the most Grammys, that's very, and it's just, yeah. So yes, of course, Grammys is about celebrating the music. Now, here's the thing. Okay, this is my issue. I will never understand people having to undermine, to put down an artist's success because their favorite artist didn't win a certain record, a certain award. Listen, first thing that I thought was, I don't know, understand why Miley Cyrus won record of the year. Her song is trash. Now, and I'm just shocked because now let me take, let me no, let me put on the PR and lawyer, personal lawyer of Miley Cyrus, even though she doesn't know me. You could, first of all, this woman has been in the industry for years, and this it's not until last time she got the recognition. So first of all, sh mm -mm. second of all, let me pull up let me pull up the the, the right the right the right information before I uh -huh, parce que genre no 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 like ça c'est genre non on peut pas dire des trucs comme ça we cannot say stuff like this huh mm -hmm. flowers became the longest running number one song in the history of the Billboard Adult Contemporary chart with thirty eight weeks at the top. That's literally a full pregnancy. Okay? Do you, like, do you not understand? 
that's half that's literally more than half of the year that this song flowers by Miley Cyrus has been on the top number one spot and you have the audacity to say oh she doesn't reserve her song is rap uh, well we didn't ask for your opinion genre qu'est-ce que tu veux que je te fasse genre tu huh no that's uh uh on fait pas ça we don't do this here genre je suis I'm actually shocked je suis choqué you cannot it's the Grammys is not about your personal taste, okay? Because everyone has... Music is subjective. What I like in a song, you may not like it. And vice versa. But we have to respect that. We cannot have discussions about your... This song sucks or you, don't have, you have bad taste. We cannot have proper discussions about the music and the impact of the music industry on our daily lives. You're having discussions like, this music is trash, I don't understand. Can your, can your favorite artist do that? Can you? But it's that. No. Okay. But but voila. Justement. You just shut your mouth. You cannot be undermining artist success just to make your favorite artist at the top because it doesn't work like that. Your favorite. I don't know who your favorite artist is. It's a great artist. It has been nominated. That's a great accomplishment in itself. But because it, they didn't win, you have to take like you have to put down the artist, huh? That is crazy. So I'm actually shocked. <laughs> I'm actually shocked and we are and speaking of the Barbie movie we're having the same discussions of oh Barbie should have won all the Oscars because I love the movie and they didn't are you at the panel are you at the panel deciding yes Barbie Barbie has already been recognized for their Oscars okay they have I don't know how many Oscars they nominations they have gotten but the fact that you're saying Oh, Margaret Marie didn't get the the nomination for best actress. Did she? Is she? Is she the one that did the monologue? No, it's America. America Ferrera. The 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 big monologue that. Or it wasn't Barbie that did the big monologue with. Uh, it, it was Gloria. Margaret Marie is a great actress, of course, but if you look at all the publicity, the, the press tour that she's done, she's always she really puts herself in the producer role she really wants to be recognized also as a great producer and she has been recognized she she literally got a freaking nomination as a producer same thing with with Rita. she she got nominated as a director under best adapted movie but you want to you want to undermine oh well this i don't i didn't see the other movies and they're they seem trash they seem to we cannot have been having conversations like this we're so focused on margaret robbie and greta not winning that we for some reason have to overlook the fact that America has been nominated for Best Supporting Actress that literally first indigenous woman is being nominated for Best Actress there, and that there are other movies that have been nominated nominated that talk about feminism and all that stuff like another topic people are mad that I suppose didn't win Best New Artist and that it went to Victoria Monet here's the thing did I suppose had a successful 2023 of course, she was everywhere, and we have to recognize that the fact that she has been nominated is already a big factor. Like it's already a big recognition, and in itself, she didn't win. That's unfortunate for her. But we cannot be like, oh well, I never heard of a, a song of Victoria Monet. Well, that gives you the opportunity to actually discover her music. She's a great artist. She has been in the industry for years, and it's now that she's being recognized. There's a lot of discussion about how rap is not being valued in the grammys i think the same way people are mad that superhero movies are not necessarily recognized in the oscars or all that stuff as i don't know best movie which now is a bit different because i know spider-man spider-verse has been recognized for best animated like a uh, animated movie so there is that recognition it all comes down to Award shows have their own standards and that can include censorship and, and like certain cultural differences and all that stuff But it doesn't mean that there's not an audience. The, the audience is very, it's very present. When you go to festivals, you, there's a lot of people for one artist, for one rap artist. Okay, that's very, we can clearly see that. It's just rap music can be very cultural specific. And for example, like a rap song by Ice Pass can be can do really well in like in North America but in certain countries it might be like oh we're not gonna listen to this whereas flowers by my Harris it can appeal to more people essentially it's like more family friendly okay that's what I want to say although that if you look deeply in the like in the 
the lyrics, it might not be as family friendly. Just like SpongeBob. Tu sais, genre, yeah. Compare rap with dance electronic. Dance electronic can actually kind of meets those standards. I don't think it's just musical, but and so they, it's easier for them to meet the standards of like censorship or stuff like that. And with rap, from my understanding, you know, just rap battles and all that stuff, they're very quite explicit. And third thing that comes to my mind is Megan Thee Stallion with Nicki Minaj. I'm not gonna talk about this. So I think that's why rap has a harder time really like meeting the standards of these award shows. Essentially, the moral of this video is just music industry is far more complicated than we than we give it credit to. But also, when it comes to entertainment discussions, I think with social media, we're very quick to just just throw out there our idea. You're entitled to like to dislike something but to turn your opinion into a fact can be a bit difficult when we're actually having when we're trying to have proper discussions about the industry if you liked a song great if you didn't like a song that's totally up to you but we cannot be just undermining just artists i think people underestimate the value of being nominated when you see it on a movie poster like academy nominee that's it also holds a power it's just it's not that they didn't win right it, it's it's a big recognition in itself i would like to be nominated for something too come give me give it to me the way we can say it well is just the grammys just like any other award show it's just about who met the standards better when it comes to pre-production production and the post and marketing aspect really i don't know what i'm rambling about hopefully this video made sense hopefully you like the video and i'll see you guys next time bye